Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of would you like to live your life more than once? Well, it almost feels like the movie Groundhog Day where a guy gets stuck and has to repeat the same day over and over again. It's a really great movie. It has Bill Murray in it and uh, it's really fun. But let's imagine that we could do that in real life. I think that the thing is that's tough is that it goes back to the Groundhog Day situation where yes, I don't mind living the same day over and over again, meaning the same life and you know, coming from the same place, having the same parents, having the same friends, having the same uh, basically experiences. But at the same time, I would love to be able to live my life once again, but knowing the future, knowing how I've gotten here, to 40 years of age, for example, since I'm 40 years old. And I think that would be amazing because I think that a lot of things that one does in their young years, they could maybe do differently, maybe do better, maybe waste less time on some things. Uh, obviously, knowing the future, you're able to predict uh, lottery numbers and <laughs> stock market and stuff like that, but that's, that's something else. But I do think that if I were to relive my life, I would um, probably do some, a lot of choices that I've done are okay. I think they would be fine. But then I think that I would also do um, other choices that maybe might help me fulfill some of the goals that I've been trying to fulfill or that I've ba barely been able to fulfill right now. And I would have fulfilled them maybe 10, 15 years ago. And by doing so, um, you get more time to enjoy the things that uh, you want to get to. But at the same time, this is imagination, I mean, at the same time, right? And I think that if it comes between the choice of living life or dying, I would, of course, choose to relive my life once again. And, you know, it's always nice to relive the same life at the same time because you're able to also re-meet and uh, re-spend time with uh, people that maybe passed away or people that you've lost through the decades, through the years. And that is something also that is very beautiful. But at the same time, I think if you're able to do that, maybe you would enjoy even more your presence. Um, you wouldn't take it for granted because I think that's one thing as a kid, um, before you have any death in a family or from close people that are close to you, you never really think of them as disappearing. You just kind of accept it as, okay, well, these people are kind of in my life. They're gonna be here forever. And uh, I'm not gonna think about that death because you've never had it. So you don't really um, maybe enjoy them as much as you would have. And then you just end up missing them for years. And that's one thing that I would love to do if I were able to relive my life is reconnect with the people that I've lost through the years. Because I think that is one thing um, that I do feel that old people feel. First of all, if they're on their deathbed and stuff like that, there's a book where they asked questions to people that were on their deathbed. And they said, what did they regret the most? And the number one question was, they regretted the most not doing the things that they had the opportunity to do. You know, so if you're given an opportunity to do something, it's always good to, to do it. Of course, if you're telling you to do drugs or do something that's unhealthy, that's a different thing. But experiences are part of life. And at the same time, I feel that, uh, you know, sometimes the more you get old, the more you, um, it's tough because you feel a little bit more alone because you've lost the people that you've loved through your whole life. and. Uh, now that you've lost them, you kind of feel like your world is different and you're alone. And that's the two things that I think are the most important. Because no matter how much money you have, no matter how much you've accumulated and all that, at the end of the day, all you have is the people around you, the experiences that you've lived and your memories. And uh, even that fades for people that have Alzheimer's and that have dementia and other things like that. But yeah, that's all I have to really say on the subject. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.